Welcome to Renaissance. I'm Timay Kanar and I'm the product manager for the Unitary IC portfolio. Today I'll be introducing our demonstration panel for 5G applications at band 257. This panel consists of 64 antenna elements in the back and it's using 16 beamformer ICs, uh, it's called F5288, and two uptown converters, they're called F5728. There are four IF ports for each polarization and for TX and RX. Also, the whole panel is using a single LO feed uh, from the external LO. The panel can be controlled through a simple microcontroller using SPI protocol. This panel is designed for TDD operation and it's able to sustain a beam per polarization in B and H polarizations. F5728 here, the uptown converter, can feed 16 beamformer ICs for 64 antenna operation, even with the RF losses on the PCB. On the other hand, our F5288 beamformer is designed for a 2x2 architecture, feeding 4 antennas. This implementation results in a very compact and symmetric antenna rounding, and it also reduces the layer count on the PCB for lower cost. Next, we are going to be showing you some over the air measurements. This is our mini chamber for over the air antenna array measurements. Receiving horns are on one side of the chamber and the panel is located on the other side. Four port keyside PNAX is used as sources and receivers for both polarizations. We are demonstrating TX mode operation in this video. With simple amplitude calibration only, we can achieve nice radiation patterns and it implies good channel uniformity for 5288 beamformer ICs. Two beams can be excited and controlled simultaneously. As you can see here on the screen, B polarization is at broadside, while H polarization is pointing at minus 30 degrees. Here is another demonstration using two panels. The one on the right is operating in TX mode, while the other one is in RX mode. Here you can see the receive power levels for both polarizations in line of sight scenario, as both of them are pointed at broadside. The one on the top is V pole operating at 5 GHz IF, and the bottom one is H pole operating at 4 GHz IF. The high isolation between the informal channels and good antenna design result in a very low cross pole levels at all polarizations. Next, we will show a non line of sight demonstration. Let's point V polarization in TX towards the metal plane in the background while H polarization stays at broadside. As you can see here, the receive power in V-pole is down. And now let's start scanning the RX panel towards the metal plane to establish a non-line of sight link between the two. As you can see here, the power level is recovering due to the reflection from the metal plate. If you paid attention, H-pole pretty much stayed the same during the V-pole scanning for the whole time. Now let's place another metal plate in between the two panels blocking the line of sight path. As you see here, the H polarization power dies out significantly while the V pole is able to maintain its non-line of sight power level. These experiments demonstrate all Renaissance millimeter wave beam front end for 5G applications. Seamless operation between Renaissance beamformers and uptime converter ICs simplifies the system design significantly and decreases the time to market for our customers. Our demonstration panel was implemented using our second generation beamformer ICs, and now we would like to introduce our latest generation. We have a 5288 for band 257, and we have a 5268 for band 258. Similar to the second generation, the third generation ICs are designed to feed four antennas in dual polarized manner, and they're using an exposed light package for better terminal management. The package is compact enough so that they fit nicely into the 2x2 antenna grid structure. The third generation has several RF performance upgrades, and it's able to provide more than 15.5 dBm linear power for 400 MHz 5G and RF phone, while it sustains the RX noise figure better than 4.5 dB. The third generation ICs also have various unique IPs, such as dynamic array power technology. For this technology, we are able to program the chip for different PAVDD operation for various power levels in order to sustain the similar efficiencies. 
This technology makes the third generation Renaissance Beamformer ICs an ideal candidate for various applications with different EIRP requirements. Beamformer ICs come with evaluation systems such as this one, where we connectorize each RF input and output for easy testing. The EVS also comes with the digital control data board so that you can actually control the IC through your computer using a dedicated graphical user interface. The evaluation systems and the ICs are now available for sampling, so for more details, please visit us at renaissance.com slash 5G.